What's up, Internet? It is still raining in here. I don't know about the other town, though. I guess we'll have to find out. But we are here in the town, ignoring Cube's pitfall that I think we actually dug up without falling over, which was kind of nice. Because it's not fun to fall into a pitfall, like, at any point. So it's in the dump. Maybe we can take this to Nooks in the other town. A blue scale shirt. Oh, I think this is, uh, it looks like armor. Or not. Maybe I'm thinking of a different shirt altogether. That makes me look like a fish. Or is this one just makes me look cool? I'll take some orange paper full of vitamin C and paper. Alright, let's go to the next town over. See if we can catch some fish or do something for some people. And in the meantime, I have cobbled something together that might actually allow me to record my PS3 footage again with some degree of visual clarity, which I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm not too handy. But I ended up, like, over the course, like, the past two or three years since I bought my PS3 and I had to replace my TV, um, I, I had to use my HDMI to my PS3, and of course, at least newer versions of the PS3 have, like, hardwired HDCP, which makes it impossible to actually capture, which is... I, I mean, the core idea behind that's it's... You know, there, there's a certain degree of moral sensibility to it, but it doesn't understand context like everything else in the world. So I need to find a way around it, and there's like a million and one devices that allegedly let you do that, but for every one I've bought, none of them actually worked, so I kind of just sort of cobbled something together that sort of did, I think. I, I did a couple display tests, which seemed to work out well, so I'm pretty proud of myself. That's what I've mostly done today, and general cleaning and some fitness stuff. But now we're in the town, just trying to relax. I gotta do a couple of review things after this, but uh, other than that, I don't know what we're gonna do tonight. In and out of Animal Crossing. I know what we need to do with this lady. Okay, we need to give her... I think that would be a good color for that. We need this. have an idea for what we can do for Blanca's face. So I think we're gonna do that. Well, this is probably too steep an angle. We should probably make it a little less steep and triangular, but what can you do? Okay, so that is there. things aspiring to make them not look good, certainly. Alright, now we need some of this. I don't know what my controls are doing right now, but they're kind of bugging out a little bit. Oh well, I think I can make this work. Hell with symmetry. I don't actually know what a turnip looks like when it's fresh out of the ground. But she's wearing a turnip top, so I thought it'd be cool to give her a turnip face. That way, her shirt doesn't miss turnips too badly. And it won't think it's the only turnip that has to do with this cat. I'll have a friend. I hope she likes turnips. That doesn't look so good. <laughs> the way it stretches over her face. Oh well. You know that shirt doesn't really look like a turnip, it looks kind of like a dumpling. 
but it's called a turnip top, so we'll just combine that with turnip face. Let's go see our old pal, Mr. Nook, for our first stop in our neighboring town, you know, after we clean up the dump. Blue check shirt and a sunny parrot. How sunny is this parasol? Is it a sunflower? Kind of sunny? Well, it has sunflowers on it, so that's not a bad little pattern. I've been growing sunflowers, and it's getting a little bit late in the year, and they still haven't bloomed, so I'm a little worried. But I think they're gonna burst open any day now. I hope so. Because I love sunflowers. They're very pretty. Okay, let's sell all this crap. Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell this. Not a ton of money, but a little bit, and every little bit helps. Whoopsie. And then we take this, and this, and of course we gotta take this. And we have a paperweight. We also have another paperweight. Did we get a third? No, we actually did get a proper fossil that time. That's exciting, because that means we at least get a little bit of bells. It's really surprising how many paperweights there are in the game, considering that, you know, there should be more fossils, but we tend to get more paperweights. I wonder if there's like a rarity system applied to them or something. Not that it really matters. Also, this birdhouse is too small for any bird to actually sit in it. It doesn't interest me because I don't think any bird could sit in there. It's too small. They need a house about the size of my house. Or, you know, any other villager's house. And we're crossing. Continue to be a world of peculiarities where bird houses are not the size of the birds in game. I think Wendell's supposed to come to town, or maybe that was tomorrow. Oh well. Oh, this music's really nice too. I mean, all Animal Crossing music tends to be, but still. 3,000 bells, yes please. Need something, Belma? Nope, nothing for Belma, alas. Well, at least Pierce is still in town. I hear a cricket. I don't know where it is, though. Oh, I see it. It just moved. Alright, Peaches, I'll see about this comic book of yours. But that will be after I catch this little guy. Got it. I don't want an early fall. I want summer to never end. Mostly because we go immediately to winter here, and I don't like that very much. I believe that's a migratory locust. I think that is actually worth a couple bells. It might be worth trying to catch. Tangy! You just chased it right where I didn't need you to... Tangy, stop ruining things. There we go. Alright. That was the last bug we needed, but we already had one. I think that's a bell cricket. Not that we'll ever find out, because it went in the water. I need a comic book, my friend. Thank you. I will move on the moment I get to dig up this mysterious thing that needs dug up. Because I'm thinking that could be a gyroid. We need those. Oh, it's just a fossil. Way to get me hopes up. Digging spot. Oh, nothing new there. Oh, that's right, I think we've got a special event coming up in a day or two. We've got a plan for that. I would like to deliver this to you, Peaches. Your favorite kind of stationery. Oh. But I prefer not being stationary. Okay, there's another locust, it looks like. Alright, so I think if nothing else, we gotta go hunt for some gyroids. 
There's the ball, in case we need that. Another fossil. Oop, let's get rid of that. Cookie, have you seen gyroids? I'm looking for them. I know where I can find a ball, and fortunately for you, it's close enough that I might actually be bothered to try and get it. First, I want to catch that bug. Crap. Okay, where did it go? I think it jumped off the cliff. Alas. Okay, so let's try and not ruin my day, Mr. Fizz X, and your friend, the horrible Mr. Ball. I don't want it going into that pond. All right. Let's just gently nudge it down here. There's another house here, but there isn't. Hmm. Weird. Guess not. Okay, Cookie, I need you to not look at the bug down there, and just look at the ball I just brought to you. There. Yippee. Bonk. Now, give me your reward. I am the coolest. Have you noticed my cool shirt? I don't even think it's worth that many bells. It's not even a good sound device, but I shall take your reel to reel because reasons. Alright. What else can we do around here? Let's need to find some gyroids. Nothing for Ketzel. Oh, well. Ooh, there's something we can dig up. Maybe that is exactly what we need. It is! It's a mini Quasoid. I don't think we actually needed one of those, but it's a step in the right direction. Should be two more around here. Somewhere. I like how when you get closer to that fountain, it actually makes a little bit more noise. If you're paying really close attention. But, I mean, everything else in this game just sounds amazing, too. got the sound of Animal Crossing down. I'm betting that's a catfish. Let's find out. Come on, Mr. Fishy Fish. Oh, salmon. Oh well. We can't all be catfish. There's a little tiny fish in the pond right now. Around here, though. It's a little cricket. Hmm. Can we find ourselves another gyroid? That is the important question we must answer. There's something we can dig up. Hooray! Mega Lamentoid. I don't think that's one we wanted either, but still. Again, at least we're finding gyroids. And there should be one more. But whether there is and whether we can find it is the real question. Hey, Q. You need something? Cube today, it seems. Okay. Anything down here? Nope. Chopper! Is anything going on? I think I heard Wendell was coming. Oh, 
Uh, probably tomorrow then I take it. Yeah, the 13th. Hey, there's Spike. You look like you're staring at the ground, which means there's a bug there. That means he does have something for us. How exciting. Give me quests, Spike. I demand it. I know where Pearl is. Sure, I can take that tour. Alright. Go help Pearl. I see a thing I can dig up over here, too. So many things we can dig up. Another fossil. That does me no good. Although, we do have stationery. Alright. Let's do it. Get a letter to the museum. Get another. And another. And this should be the last one. Now we just have to transpose these. Into there. Into there. And boom! One third of our inventory space is now cleared up. Awesome. Now we can fill it with other stuff. Like maybe Goldie needs something. I might have been playing NES. Actually, I've been trying to fix my PS3. But, I mean, this game came out before the PS3, so I doubt they'd ask about that. I see red dragonflies everywhere. Maybe we'll find a digging spot around here. It's possible. Although it doesn't seem to be showing up. And as we all know, if it's on this acre, you know, I might as well not bother looking, because the odds of finding it are pretty slim. Or it could just be by the museum, where we never check. Hey, Mini Nebuloid, I think we have that one too. Actually, there is a good way to... I found it. There's a good way to check and see if we have any new gyroids, because I remember the exact number in our catalog. It was 104. So I guess we'll go ask Nook what our catalog looks like. And then we'll know for sure. Although we won't know which was the new one that gets added, if any of them. Alright, let's take a look at this. 104, nothing new. I would like to sell some stuff though, Mr. Nook. Like this, and 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 also this. Hey, that's a few bells. Grab flowers while we're here, but I think I might do a little bit more of a wander. See if we can help one or two more villagers out. Because I know there's not going to be much going on in our hometown. Alright, purple pansies. That's fun to say. Okay. Who else can we talk to that we haven't talked to yet? I talked to them. They had nothing. But they wouldn't because we've already helped Peaches. I guess we could talk to Tangy if she's still here. Although it doesn't look like she is. I already did a thing for someone else. Hmm, Chow's not here. That's peculiar. He normally doesn't roam far from his house. Oh, there's Ace. We haven't talked to him yet. Nothing for Ace. 
running out of villagers to ask. But we need quests. Well, we already asked Quetzal though. And it looks like Pierce isn't here. You need another ball of cookie. I found one. It's right next to you. Hmm. Well, I guess it can't be helped. Let's go home. Plant some garden. Talk to Pearl. Give her a thing. We'll be able to look for gyroids, but at the very least we found a couple. And if nothing else, that's something. Alright, Porter, summon the train. I'm ready to go home. the cryptids give us some accompanying background music as we slowly get onto the train and head back to our home. But, of course, before we get to go home, to deal with everyone's least favorite cat, Rover. Well, once again, quiz us on all the many, many, many things he know. No, I'm just kidding. He'll once again say the same lines he says every single day because he doesn't have anything else but this to say. That's odd. You know, you can tell him to leave you alone, but he won't. And that's the frustrating thing. Why give you that option if it's not going to actually make him leave you alone? Oh, uh, but it's a rainy town, which means we get some gyroids, you know, when it stops. Unfortunately, if it never stops raining, we'll never get a chance get gyroids and the, you know the amount of gyroids you get is not relative to how long it rained which I think is a missed opportunity I think if it rained longer you should be able to get more gyroids but that's not really the case I think that's kind of a missed opportunity considering that this game does say that it's sort of rain that's causing them to appear so why not let more rain cause more to appear? This makes sense, really. But alas, not in this game of crossing animals. Let's see. Is the town perfect, Mr. Wishing Well? I think it is. Yay! We're really close to the ocean with our garden now. That's pretty exciting. That's a tiny fish. It's not even a coelacanth. Why bother? I don't have to bother with the coelacanths, but why bother with anything else at this point? Got a fossil! Probably shouldn't run near the river in case the big superfish shows up. Because apparently you can still catch it right around now, which is honestly something I didn't expect. But that's good. More chances to get more bells. And seeing as we can't catch beetles anymore, more chances to get more bells is always a plus. That's a tiny fish. That can't be a coelacanth. Are we gonna get one? I don't think we are. Fish. Oh, it's a tiny little sea bass. Who cares? Get rid of this, and we can get rid of this. 
So, anything going on in this town, Copper? Nope. Just another peaceful day in the town. But peaceful is boring. Also, a thing I can dig up. Yes, please. Alright. I don't think the Mega Catfish is available anymore, even though the regular ones are, which is a little peculiar. Around here. There she is. Carl, I have got to deliver something to you. And that something is this. It's really important people get their Game Boys back. I'm an advocate of making sure people all have their Game Boys. I shall take this wallpaper and just know that I'm quite happy making sure people have Game Boys. Because Game Boys are awesome. If she fell asleep in the rain, she's gonna get sick tomorrow. That's not very smart, Tangy. Phyllis! I'm here to make a deposit before I do anything else. Well, just 400,000 more bells. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's exciting to think that we're getting so close. Especially because it took so long to get this much. Although, to be fair, I think to pay off your house, you have to spend like 1.5 million bells or something like that. So, you know, if we didn't have to pay off the house beforehand, we'd be there already. But still, you know, we're making progress. We're getting there. Nope, I think that's it, Phyllis. Alright. Get rid of this weed. Go away, ball. I banish you to your underwater kingdom. No one likes you. Now I'm getting all hiccupy. Oh, that's not good. But I think we've done everything we kind of wanted to do today. This was our nice little slice of relaxation during a day. And, uh, you know, that's always nice and fun. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we do this every night, as well as other stuff when I can squeeze it into my schedule here and there. I've got a couple other things I'd like to do soon, so hopefully... You might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, which is a lot of stuff, and not just Animal Crossing, but so many different games, and a lot of games that are completely weird and random, because importing Japanese games is an interesting experience, to say the least. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon, support the show any way you can, so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which in this case is hunting gyroids and watching Tangy sleep in the rain and get sick. Because, well, actually, she's made out of vitamin C, so maybe she won't. Maybe that's like the perfect countermeasure. Who knows? The anatomy of Tangy. It's a bizarre, curious thing. But if you support the show, you get yourself on the Discord where we can talk about awesome things like the bizarre anatomy of citrus cats. Maybe they don't get sick if they sleep out in the rain. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.